One of the first focuses in awareness through movement that I offer group classes is how to begin to feel one's inner sensory awareness potential. This is through one's posture, whether it's through standing, sitting, lying down, or transitioning through uh, sitting to standing, coming up from the floor into sitting, and then to standing or walking, transitioning through each step. And so at the very beginning through the introduction to sensory awareness is the balance of the functional body which is the physical body and this is through the understanding and clarity of there being a center line in the body front to back and side to side very much like this X on the floor that has four quadrants. When we transfer our weight from right to left through our center line, we're going from side to side. We're going left to right and back from left to right, back and forth, crossing our center line. We have a definite right side and a left side, and they mirror each other. However, the front to back does not mirror each other. We have body proportions on the front that aren't there in the back. And so when we move forward and back, we're crossing a different center line, front to back, with different body proportions. Therefore, we could develop a sensory awareness that would allow us to keep our balance when we're moving forward. To back. Side to side is much easier because each side mirrors the other, therefore balance is easier when we shift weight left and right, but then going forward and back, we're going to the front of our feet, which stick out further than when we go back into our heels, for example. Then we have the transition. In order to walk, sometimes we're coming forward, crossing our, our front and back center line, but then we're crossing our left to right center line as we go to take a step. So there is a counter rotation happening, or potential for a counter rotation. But initially, one must begin to sense how they bear their weight. How do you bear your weight crossing side to side and front to back? And so the body also has a right front quadrant, a left front quadrant, a left back quadrant, and a right back quadrant. Very much like a labyrinth. When I'm teaching people how to draw a labyrinth, we start with a cross as the core center of the labyrinth. So when walking the labyrinth, we are actually walking in a similar pattern to counter rotation that I focus on in awareness through movement following the Feldenkrais method. So try it yourself. Come into standing and notice how you shift your weight from your right foot to your left foot, back to center, and then crossing in the other direction. And notice if the two sides are the same. After a few times, pause, and then go forward and back and notice how you sense the movement going forward and back. And just repeat a few times, and then pause. So this is the first step to developing your inner sensory awareness, your inner self-image. So I'll leave it here, and I hope to catch you on the next one. Thank you for watching.